So guys, many of you have requested that I make a video going over the best loadout for Chapter 5 Season 2. Now guys, with this new season, we got plenty of new weapons that you guys are able to actually use in this season. In today's video, I just want to go over the different types of loadouts, the different weapons you can have in each slot. I'm pretty much going to go slot by slot. And I really hope this video helps you out guys in exactly determining what you guys should be carrying in your competitive matches. This is an extremely important attribute of exactly how you guys are playing, and I think it really should impact a lot of your decision making in your game. Without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So guys, we're going to be starting obviously in slot one. Now, a slot one for most people is going to be where their assault rifle is. Now, for your assault rifle, you have different options. You're going to be having the Nemesis assault rifle, the Warforged assault rifle. Those are the two primary ones right now. Me personally, I prefer the Warforged assault rifle simply because the fire rate is faster. I think it's a little bit easier to aim. The Nemesis AR is a little bit slower, requires a little bit more precision. I'd kind of compare it back to the Scar versus something like the hunting rifle or the heavy assault rifle from back in the day. So if you guys like a much more fast play style, I'd recommend the Warforged AR. If you guys like a slower and more ranged based play style, I'd recommend you take the Nemesis AR. Obviously to find out what you guys like, experiment with it in your ranked games, your scrims, anything that may be. However, an Assault Rifle isn't the only thing that you can have in slot 1. Another option for something that you guys could have is the DMR. In this new season, the DMR is known as the Hunter's DMR, and in my opinion, it's actually a really good weapon, especially if you guys like ranged play a lot. You guys like to kind of sit back and play the sword poor player, get storm surge tags from really far away, try to get eliminations from really far away, and not really worry too much about the refresh loot and stuff. That's kind of the situation I would take the DMR in. And then of course, guys, there is obviously the option of taking a sniper rifle. If you guys want to get the Reaper sniper rifle, that's kind of the best option in this season for you guys to actually snipe if you're a really good sniper. Let's say you're somebody like Thomas HD, who's a really good sniper and who can get really good eliminations and storm surge tags off of that. That's what I'd recommend you do. And then the final option for slot one, guys, truthfully, this is going to be any utility item. This could range from shockwaves to the wings of Icarus to lightning bolts if you guys want to use those. This could be the clinger grenades. Pretty much anything that you guys want to use in this slot for a utility item, you can also use. So slot one, guys, as a generalization, is pretty much a slot that you can have many different things. You can have an assault rifle, a DMR, a sniper, any utility item. It's kind of a slot of multiple trades. You can choose what you really want here. Let's move on to the next slot, which isn't so much of a slot where you guys get to really choose what you want. For slot two, guys, I'd recommend that every player has a shotgun. Now, pretty much every single competitive player runs a shotgun, unless you're kind of a hardcore controller player who likes to run two SMGs for some reason. Shotguns are pretty much necessary to your loadout. Every player in the entire lobby has a shotgun. So for shotguns, guys, there are three in the season right now that are actually really good. That's going to be the Frenzy Auto Shotgun, the Hammer Pump Shotgun, and then the Gatekeeper Shotgun as well. The Frenzy Auto and the Hammer Pump were in the previous season, the Frenzy Auto being kind of more of a drum shotgun, faster fire rate, tack shotgun kind of hybrid. The Hammer Pump is more of a slow firing, actual pump shotgun type gun. And then the Gatekeeper Shotgun is kind of a mix between the two. I'm personally not a fan of it. I don't like the way that the reticle looks. I don't like how clunky it sometimes feels. Me personally, I'm preferring the hammer pump every single time. Also, the hammer pump is really forgiving when it comes to getting headshots and doing a lot of body shot damage if you guys are trying to win in fights by getting really high damage with your shotguns. Slot 2, like I said, really isn't a place where you're going to have too many other weapons. I'd pretty much recommend everybody have a shotgun in the slot. Without a doubt, I'd recommend, obviously, if you guys like a faster play style, take the Frenzy Auto. It's going to be able to allow you guys to get a lot of damage done really quickly, and if you're not too good with your aim, that's what I'd recommend. Once again, the hammer pumps like the pump shotgun, that's for more calculated players who have maybe a little bit better aim and who want to get the big damage shots onto the body or the head. And then the gatekeeper shotgun, honestly, if you like it, that's great for you. But me personally, I'm not a fan. I'd just recommend either the hammer pump or the frenzy auto. But once again, if you like the gatekeeper, that's really great for you. Let's move on to slot number three. In slot number three, guys, I'd once again recommend that there's pretty much only one type of weapon that you can have here. That's going to be an SMG. Obviously, you guys can have utility items here as well if you don't like to have it in your first slot. Or if you guys want to have an AR and an SMG, you can do that as well. But in terms of the SMGs this season, guys, there's pretty much two that I recommend. There's the Thunder Burst SMG, and then there's the Harbinger SMG. Now, the Thunder Burst, you guys know very well from the previous season. It's pretty effective, guys. It shoots three shots in rapid succession very quickly. There's nothing to cancel those shots, and they actually do a fair amount of damage to the body and to the head. The really big benefit of the Thunder Burst shotgun is that it bleeds through builds very well. So if you guys are somebody who likes to play very aggressive, kind of W key and kind of exploit into boxes, the Thunder Burst SMG is a really good option. It's going to be able to bleed through walls, do a lot of damage, get a lot of eliminations if you guys are trying to go crazy in the game. Now, the Harbinger SMG is also really good because it's very fast rate firing. It has a pretty solid amount of damage to the body and to the head. I just think overall it's a very solid weapon. What I'd say guys is that if you want to get the Harbinger SMG, you need to make sure you know how to aim with it correctly. Yes, the Thunder Burst does require a little bit more tactical aim. However, what you guys need to understand is that when you are aiming with the Thunder Burst, it doesn't really require as much skill to actually track your opponent. Obviously, you do 
have to have your cursor on top of them. But what you guys could do is start in one place and then drag across the screen and then potentially get one of them with one of your damaged shots. That's the really big benefit of a burst shotgun, that and the fact that it bleeds through builds. Me personally, I think I'm going to be taking the Thunderburst. I know a lot of people prefer the Harbinger, but me personally, the Thunderburst just suits my play style a little bit better. But once again, both are really good options. This is pretty much a toss up in a 50-50. It kind of depends on your preference here. Let's move on to slot four, which is pretty unequivocally one item. Slot 4 is pretty much always going to be your meds items. Now this can be anything, this can be any med item in the game, this could be Chug Splash, Mini Shield, Big Pot, Flowberry Fizz, Flowberries, Med Kits, Fish, Bandages, whatever it really is guys, Slot 4 I'd always recommend for every player in the lobby is going to be some variety of healing item. And the reason I say this guys is because a lot of people are like, hey I don't really need heals, I can just get eliminations and then loot from their heals and then pick up all my weapons again. Some players actually do that, especially if they're trying to play very passive and try to last a long time. However, my recommendation guys for pretty much everybody and I think a lot of people actually understand this is that meds is something you definitely have to carry. Flowberry Fizz in my opinion is actually one of the best. If I were to carry two I'd carry the Flowberry Fizz and the Chug Splash simply because the Chug Splash is a really quick way of getting health back and a Flowberry Fizz kind of doubles as a med supply and also a mobility item. That's why I think that those two are really valuable. Obviously fish are great because they're really quick to get actual health and shield. Big pots are good now, med kits are great, pretty much every med item, with the exception of bandages in my opinion, is worth picking up. I think that it's no doubt a really good idea to have a med item in your slot 4. Let's move on to slot 5, which is the final slot, and this is exactly where you guys need to be carrying meds and utility. Now guys, in slot 5, some people like to double up on meds, some people like to get utility, some people like to carry a fourth weapon. Whatever it may be, slot 5, in my opinion, is kind of the slot where you can experiment with what you want. Me personally, guys, I'm pretty much always going to be carrying a med item. A healing item in the fifth slot just doubles down on the fact that I'm able to actually med up when I get into fights and I take a lot of damage. Maybe I'm in zone and I need to kind of play heal off. Whatever it may be, I think that the meds, obviously in slot 5, like I mentioned before, that's going to be Chug Splash, Minis, Big Pots, Fizz, Flowberries, Med Kits, Fish, all of that stuff I think is really valuable to actually use. Or on the other hand, if you guys do want to carry a utility weapon, Obviously, you guys can carry the shockwave grenades, the clinger grenades. You can use stuff like the wings of Icarus. Lightning bolts are great as well. I think that pretty much everything here is actually really valuable. So whether you guys choose to carry meds or you guys choose to carry utility, I think whatever you do choose is eventually going to make you guys really successful in your games. And like I said, there is the third option of obviously carrying something else, like another weapon. Maybe this is the place where you want to put your sniper rifle. Maybe this is the place where you want to decide to put, I don't know, a DMR or some other ranged weapon. Or you guys want to put a second SMG just in case your first one runs out of ammo. Honestly, you guys can experiment with whatever you want in the fifth slot. For me personally, I'd recommend meds to you guys. However, I think that everybody can find their own custom type of thing to put in their fifth slot and it'll really benefit for them as long as they practice with it and stay consistent. Now guys, those are the five slots in the Fortnite inventory. Obviously, medallions, ammo, mats, that type of stuff is kind of a given. Try to pick up any single ones that you guys can. So in terms of your loadout, that's the five slots and what you guys should put in them. And I really enjoyed making this video simply because I think the items in the season are really good and you guys can really benefit from them if you choose the right ones in your competitive games. That is about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.